So I have a friend that wanted to lose weight and get in shape, but he was very confused. He, I still remember he said to me one time, man, I want to get in shape, lose weight, but I want to learn everything from YouTube. I don't want to go and pay someone. I don't have the money or whatever, but I'm so confused. Everyone says different things. One person says, eat this, eat that, train like this, train like that. And I don't know which is the right way, which is the base way where I can start. And why can't there be one place for it all? And then it clicked. I decided to start creating videos that try to combine as much as possible all the foundation needed for a beginner to start to just watch the video, start following all the instructions, all the things that I'm providing in there and start getting some results. And that way to have a foundation from which to build on further ahead. With this series, I will give you entire meal plans for a complete day of eating with all the macronutrients written and specifically chosen with macronutrients for the day that are needed and still to be healthy as possible. All the meals will revolve around 2000 calories as well as I will point out on things you can exclude if the calories are too much for your daily intake or to include if the calories are too little for your daily intake. I will show you how to use basic calorie calculator, which is pretty simple. I think most of the people know how. As well as I will include in every meal plan day, I will include workout. It will be different types in the fitness, in the gym, calisthenics or home workout. So you can have something to choose from. And for bonus, I will give you the best range of time where you can eat and not eat throughout the day. Let's get started. But no, before we start, just to make sure everybody understands it, that I won't be cooking all the meals. I won't be showing how I'm cooking them because it, first it is way too impossible considering the volume and the amount of meals that I'm going to provide to you here. I'm just going to showcase you all the ingredients needed and how they are cooked. I will show you the recipe, explain it to you, as best as I can, probably just going to read it so you can follow through. No need for me to cook all the meals. When that's set, let's get started. So the first thing is pretty simple. You go into Google, type calorie calculator. You click on the first thing and you go H20, let's say 28. Height 170. I'm using centimeters and kilograms, but you can change it based on how you want, what you use. Weight 75 kilograms. Light exercise one, three times a week. You can put on settings. Uh, this, no, this isn't. Okay, and you calculate. Okay, to maintain weight, you have to intake. 2307 calories for weight loss i think most of the people will want a normal weight loss 0.5 kilograms a week you need to be in the range of 1807 calories around that range they're not perfect if you want uh, the best way the most precise number of how much calories you need to take you need to consult with a dietitian professional to have uh, blood work done to you and some other uh, things but for the general public for the people that just want to lose weight don't have any health problems or whatever the calorie cal calculator on the internet is pretty straightforward and works pretty decent one thing i wanted to know before we start is that you don't need to buy supplements fancy bullshit for thousands of dollars you don't need to pay someone half your salary to teach you you can find everything you need for free to have a foundation the most important part of losing weight is calories in calories out that's it 
Working out is about getting your muscle bigger, popping them off, stretching the skin so you look more fit, aesthetic, get your whole skin not to be loose. So working out just makes your muscle bigger and doesn't help you with the weight loss. The weight loss, the most important part of it is to take less calories than those that you need for the day that are required to maintain your current weight. That they, they are based on your sleeping, your exercise, your activity throughout the day and many many more. The important thing is to be on a proper deficit. Too small and you won't have a meaningful result in time so you can have the motivation to continue. On the other hand, too much and you become unhealthy because being on a too much deficit and starving to death is unhealthy because you become miserable. Even if you are losing weight, you won't have energy to train and overall have a miserable experience losing weight. That is why most people quit because they don't have a proper meal plan and end up suffering rather than enjoying. Weight loss should be a balanced and it should be become your natural eating routine not something you do just of weight loss you can eat delicious food while keeping your form forever not removing all kinds of food that you enjoy just transforming it so it is healthy and you lose weight at the same time while enjoying it and you don't starve you have to comp out over time so you can build something that will last. Not to push yourself, starve for six weeks, get the desired result and get to hate the process and then six months later you get back to your first weight. You have to create a process that you're going to enjoy your entire life and you're going to get used to it, otherwise you get right back to where you started from. To the meal plan. Starting off with the meal plan, it will consist of 3 meals with snacks in between to fill up the gap of calories and macros needed. You can remove some of the snacks of the total calories if they are too much to your daily intake to stay on a deficit and if the calories here are too little for you, you can always add another snack or increase the portion sizes, whatever you want. If there is a demand for bigger meals with higher calorie count, I will make videos about them as well. Let me know down in the comment section. Let's get started. So first things first is breakfast, of course. The breakfast will be Greek yogurt parfait. I think that's what is said. 400 calories for start. So ingredients will be one cup of Greek yogurt, one half cup mixed berries, one four cup granola, one tablespoon honey, one tablespoon chia seeds. In a total of 400 calories, so the yogurt is 150, the berries are 40, the granola is 100 calories, honey is 60 calories, and chia seeds 50 calories. Instructions pretty straightforward. In a bowl or glass, layer half of the green yogurt, add half of the mixed berries on top, sprinkle half of the granola over the berries, drizzle half of the honey, repeat the layers with the remaining ingredients, top with chia seeds. Pretty straightforward. Now, even if you're as good cook as me, you'll be able to do that. After each and every meal, we will have uh, a snack, so we can fill up some calories and some proteins, some nutrients that you might need throughout the day. So the morning snack will be apple, apple with almond butter, 150 calories, ingredients, one medium apple, eight calories, and one tablespoon almond butter, 70 calories. That's it. Mm, I'm not going to give you instructions on how to eat apple and almond butter. So, now it's time for some training. We have meal and snack. We have to get some calories out, right? Today's workout will be for abs at home, so we don't really need any more weights or anything else. 10 minutes abs workout non-stop. If the workout seems easy for you or whatever, you can always do it twice, extend the time, do more exercises, add something or do one of your own, it doesn't matter, but if you want to do mine, 10 minutes abs, so let's burn some calories and get them abs popping off.
after we are done with the workout, we pumped, we got the abs popping off, it's time for lunch. Grilled chicken salad, 500 calories. Ingredients, 4 rounds grilled chicken breasts. You can check how much that's in grams if you use that. 120 calories, 2 cups mixed greens, 20 calories, 1 half cup cherry tomatoes, 15 calories, 1 4 cup cucumber slices, 5 calories, 1 4 cup avocado, 60 calories, 2 tablespoons balsamic vinaigrette, I hope it's pronounced like that, 1 slice whole grain bread, 100 calories, the vinaigrette was 8 calories, so in total 500. Instructions. Season the chicken breasts with salt and pepper. Grill or cook in a pan over medium heat until fully cooked. In a large bowl, combine the mixed greens, cherry tomatoes and cucumber slices. Basically make a salad. Slice the grilled chicken breast and add to the salad. Mix the whole thing together. Slice the avocado and add to the salad. Add more things. Drizzle with balsamic vinaigrette. Serve with a slice of whole green bread. Just one slice to a total of 500 calories. Afternoon, then it's the afternoon snack. Hummus and veggie sticks, 150 calories. Ingredients: one half cup, no, one fourth cup hummus, 100 calories, and one cup sliced bell peppers, cucumbers, and carrots, 50 calories. And we're going to the dinner. It's 8 p.m. It's time your mother is calling you. Eat dinner. Dinner: baked salmon with quinoa and steamed broccoli, 700 calories. Ingredients, 6 ounce salmon fillet, filled fillet, I don't know how it's pronounced, 280 calories, 1.5 cup quinoa, 1 cup broccoli, yeah, 1 cup broccoli, 1 tablespoon olive oil, mixed herbs, dill, parsley, thyme, and lemon juice for seasoning, all in a total of 700 calories. Instructions. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius. Place the salmon fillet on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Drizzle with olive oil and season with salt, pepper and herbs. Bake the salmon, salmon for 15 to 20 minutes or until fully cooked. Rinse the quinoa and cook according to package instructions. Basically. The quinoa should be boiled, something like that. Steam the broccoli florets until tender. Serve the salmon with quinoa and steamed broccoli garnished with a squeeze of lemon juice. And we are time for the last thing eating. Evening snack, dark chocolate, a square of dark chocolate, 100 calories. Do you want me to tell you the ingredients? Total calories comes up to 2000. Adjustments. To increase calories, add an extra tablespoon of almond butter or small handful of nuts, about 100 to 150 calories each. Increase the portion sizes of the main protein, chicken and salmon, or add an extra snack. Pretty straightforward, you just add some stuff. To decrease calories, reduce the portion sizes of grains, like quinoa and bread, use low calorie dressings, or skip some of the snacks. Just skip some of the snacks. Macro nutrient breakdown, it's approximate, so protein 130 to 150 grams, carbohydrates 200 to 230 grams, and fats 70 to 80 grams. Thank you for watching till the end. One part before I let you go is the one thing that I promised to you the best time where you you should eat or not eat if you want to try it it's a 16 hour fasting so you eat from 12 pm to 8 pm that's your eating horizon you try to take the three meals inside that horizon with the snacks and from there you don't eat anything else you just drink water you don't take any calories or as much as possible you try to avoid them and you don't start eating until 12 p.m. because it is way healthier to wait until your body naturally wakes up, starts moving, starts to feel hungry, not to wake up and the first thing in the morning to start ingesting 
some food and to feel full and not energized at all. And the 8 p.m. thing, it's just natural that it's not very good to eat late at night. So 8 p.m., 8, 9 p.m., it's a good stop line when you stop eating, just drink water and that's it. Sometimes you may cheat, but strive to follow this time period as much as possible. Thank you for watching till the end. Really appreciate it. If you're getting some value from the videos, if you want more of them, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That's how you help me and that's how you make me push forward and make more and more videos with much more value in each one. So, love you all. See you next time.